but uh, about four years ago, I lost my father to glioblastoma multiform. It uh, was a quick seven months that he had left. There were very few treatment options for him. Um, it's very difficult to watch a loved one pass of this disease. It, it strips you of all of your dignity. And I want there to be more options for people in the future. Um, chemo, radiation is not work for this cancer or surgery. It's and a part of your body that's very difficult to access and alternative treatment development is absolutely necessary to find a cure for this disease. And that's why I'm going over today. Honestly, I had never heard of brain cancer before a friend had asked me to participate in this fundraiser. And then sure enough, as I went about raising funds, raising awareness through social media and email and conversations and texts, this person had you know, a spouse, a son or daughter or a neighbor or a colleague, and I was just blown away. And so, you know, I'm here today just to help raise awareness and kind of shine a light on this horrific disease and make sure that we are raising funds and we're heading towards a cure for brain cancer. So I learned about the event during a foundation meeting for our neuro-oncology uh, department and a parent of a young, uh, child who had brain cancer was involved and mentioned this event and I realized it was only four months away so convinced Taya to uh, participate and everyone else will just be watching from below. <laughs> Kathy and I both participate in weekly team meetings for the Neuro-Oncology Institute, the Laurel Ann Tower Cancer Institute and Neuro-Oncology Center at Shirt Memorial Hospital which brings together an interprofessional team that's dedicated to providing excellent care for patients that are diagnosed with brain cancer. So last year we got together with a great group of folks from, uh, from Coronado and we all had a special connection to someone that had either you know, suffered from cancer or passed away from cancer and unfortunately for me my grandfather passed away from brain cancer when I was uh, just a child. I started doing this because my husband was diagnosed with brain cancer four and a half years ago um, and I wanted to do something to help out with the cause and to try to find a uh, treatment that could help him and so I found ABC2 and I realized that the um, only option was to go over the building so that's what I that's what I signed up to do and I've been doing it ever since and then my ribbons so ever since my husband was diagnosed I have been reaching out to other patients and just learning about uh, the different types of tumors there are and helping trying to help my husband but I learned that I have a lot to offer to help other patients as well and then I met a bunch of family members as well that had lost people. Um, and so all of these ribbons have a name of someone who has had um, brain cancer, who may still be living with it, or, or who has already passed. 